People ask me all the time the difference between astrology and numerology. They know there's a difference, but they have no clue particularly about what numerology is. So the next video I'm going to show you is explaining these two features, astrology and numerology. everyone it's good to be back I have an interesting topic today that because so many people have asked me questions about it, I thought I would just mention it to you today and that is about astrology versus numerology or the importance of either one over the other which there isn't they're both important and how do they work together so that's what I want to share with you today all everybody seems to know their astrology sun sign I'm an Aquarian so People will, at a dinner table, they always know they're usually, certainly they know their date of birth, they know their sun sign, but they have nothing, not much information on their numbers. And they don't really know what's the difference. So that's what I would like to talk to you about because you have both and you should be aware of both and that can help you. And one is not better than the other, they're equally as important. I compare it to having a body and then you have a brain. You can't really run around without a brain and a, and a brain needs a body. So they work together. So what is astrology uh, and what is today's astrology is very, very different than what we would call the ancient astrologers who were wise, who were, their information was sought by the kings and uh, by business people, by everybody, because they knew how to navigate by the stars. They could do chemistry based on knowledge from the stars. It was just amazing time period that we have been what I call coming out of the dark ages from. We have lost the knowledge and now we're picking up something called astrology, modern day astrology. It's quite different than the ancient astrology, but there's bits and pieces that will relate to you. So what you wanna look at astrology is this story. When you were born and you take your first breath at birth, you are magnetized immediately by the planetary alignment that is in the heavens at the time you are born. So for instance, if I'm born at a certain hour of a day, on the day, at that instant, I am affected energetically by where my sun is, where my moon is, where, where all these planets were in the heavens. They all affect me. This is my, quote, energy package. I have an energy package because I have to have something here to exist and run around. I have an energy package. And this energy package stays with me all my life. And as the heavenly bodies move, it affects my energy package. That's why you hear people say, oh, I've got this transit or this is not a good time or whatever. And they go to astrologers to find out when is a good time, all of that. This is astrology. And so the deeper you go into the subject matter, the more complicated it gets with the different houses, but it's based on the constellations in the heavens. And where you were, that instant, where these constellations were, the instant you were born, where the heavenly bodies were. So now you have an energy package, but you need a frame to put it in. You need a frame, and that is numerology. Because numerology is really kind of a buzzword for sacred geometry. And sacred geometry makes up the entire grid of the universe, everything. The bodies of the heavenly bodies are in the heavens due to a sacred grid that they are exact order, exact location. They don't crash into one another. They're on a journey or an orbit and they are moving through the heavens and you are affected as they move. So now in the grid that you are born into is actually the date of birth along with the name you have chosen before birth. So this is your, what we'll call your numerology and we make it simple. We simplify the whole process for you to have versus looking at sacred geometry. Sacred geometry is so precise that if I hold a finger up, the joint, this joint, will be in ratio to this joint, to this joint, to the rest of my hand. It is all perfect. And it will always be connected to the number pi or the letter pi. So this is something that I don't wanna go into the depth of all that, but everything is precise and perfect even the hair on your head. Even the Bible tells you, your days are numbered, every hair on your head is counted. Everything is numerical and part of the sacred geometry grid. 
So your name is on that grid. You have an energy package, you have a name, and in that name are these letters. And these letters represent energies. So each letter you have in your name will give you a number. So the letter A is a one, B is a two, three is a four. So you have the numerology of your name, which will give you your destiny, give you your personality, give you what motivates you, your talents, your challenges, your karma. It's all in the name, all in the name. So you have your energy package that will help you navigate through the time you're here on earth. And you have a guidebook in your name that is going to guide you to your true destiny versus your right destiny. People always confuse these two. People say, well, I have this job and I'm making a lot of money, but they're miserable. Or they really would like to quit and they can't. They have this, this, and this. But basically what they're really truly saying is they want their true work. It's not the right work, they want their true work, which feeds their heart and soul. And that's all in the name, date of birth. So you have this wonderful program. So you combine the energy package as the heavenly bodies move through these constellations, they affect you. So sometimes the, um, for instance, if you have a very karmic period coming up from your energy package, it's nice to know how long will it last and what can you expect? It's all there. So you would might go to an astrologer to get that. If you wanna know the path you should be on, the road you should take, you wanna know where you're supposed to go, okay? And what personality you're gonna use and what are gonna be the issues while you're out there about in the world, then you definitely wanna know your numerology. So they work together. You can't have, you know, it's like um, Peter and Paul, they have to work together. You can't have separate. You can pretend. But one of the things that people don't do is they don't find out their numbers. So they have half the equation. They have their energy package and they know this is good or that is good, but they don't know the direction. They don't know where to go. And that's in your name and date of birth. And they don't know the road they're going to be on. So people come and they change their name and they think that'll make it work. No, you can't lose what you had at birth. It's like, can I be born on a different day? Go back and do it again? Well, maybe in another life, but not this one. This is what you have. You have this energy package based on the heavens. You have a destiny, you have a road you're going to be on, a life path that's from your numerology. You have to know both. You, or let's put it this way, it'd be better if you knew both, all right? That will help you a lot. So I just wanted to give you a little more clarity on the difference between astrology and numerology and the importance of both of these in your life. And again, thank you for listening. I always appreciate your watching me. Thank you. As always, I want to thank you for watching my YouTube videos. I'm always delighted to have you here today. If you would like to subscribe or like my, my channel, please do so. And also, if you would like to visit my website, the name is there, gailminogue.com. You can purchase my book. Here it is. And you can also schedule a private session with me to help understand your own blueprint, where you're going, and what's the best way to get there. So I'll see you next week for my next video. And thank you.